here with Browns running back D. Ernest Johnson. And D. Ernest, first of all, in training camp this year, kind of got through it, the first preseason game yesterday. How did it feel to kind of get that first game action? Uh, man, it feels great, man, just coming out here, just competing out every day against uh, each other. And then we finally get to display our talent out there against uh, Washington. And it just felt so great just being out there and just playing my first NFL preseason game. You know, this is a dream come true, you know. I dreamed about it since the age of five. And yesterday it was finally here. And, you know, I went out there and just, just had fun and enjoyed myself. Yesterday was kind of a big day really around the organization with the trading of Duke Johnson. And I'm sure that creates obviously more opportunities in your running back room to be a part of this team when it's all said and done. What did the coaches say to you and to your room kind of just about what happened and the opportunities now to step up for you guys? I mean, he didn't really say, now you know, he just said, just continue, just come out here, you know, do your job, you know, keep your head down, just keep working, you know. You know, it's a business, you know, it's a business. So you just got to come out here and work every day like it's your last day, man. You know, you can't take this game for granted. And, you no know, opportunities coming, you know, those opportunities come, you got to seize the moment and stuff like that, and that's what I'm trying to do, you know. Just learning from guys like Nick Chubb and Duntrell Hiller and stuff like that, and Kareem Hunt, you know, just trying to seize the moment, man. Absolutely. By the way, it's been a little bit of an Orlando Apollos reunion here in Browns camp. Yourself, Ishmael Hyman, Garrett Gilbert from the offensive side. What was that experience like, and what did you learn from Steve Spurrier? Uh, man, we learned a lot from Steve Spurrier. He's a great coach, man. He's a funny guy, man. You know, he's going to push you to the limit, you know. He's just creative with, with his plays also, you know, he come up with plays right on the sideline. So it was great, man, just having those guys here, here with me also, man. Just It's great just to be around those guys because we know how, how each other play. And, you know, we always on top of each other every day in practice. Like, come on now, let's have a great practice and stuff like that. We're always pushing each other to the limit and stuff like that. Most uh, Definitely me and Ish, you know, me and yeah. Ishmael, you know, we always pushing each other like that. Okay, now, we got to have a great practice and stuff like that. So we just stand on top of each other and stuff like that and just, they will come out here and just trying to earn a roster spot. Absolutely, and I'm sure, you know, we've got Stump Mitchell, who's had a lot of success in this league, a lot of experience as well, and now coming here with Freddie Kitchens, Todd Monken. Has it kind of been a fun transition into this NFL offense after that time with the old ball coach? Man, it's definitely a great experience, man. Just grateful to have a coach like Stump Mitchell and Coach Freddie Kitchen that believe in me and just, just give me the opportunity to just come out here and compete at the highest level. You know, I never had an opportunity just to be able to compete this high, and you know, I'm just thankful for those, for those guys and coaches like that, and I'm just thankful just to be here and grateful, you know, just coming out here and working every day. What's one thing you'd want the Browns fans to know about D. Ernest Johnson? That he's a hard worker and he's just going to just work, man. Right? You know, he's just going to go out there and try to make a play for the team, you know, wherever it takes, special team, you know, returning, you know, running the ball, catching, it don't matter, you know, he's just going to come out here and work and try to make a play for the team. Thank you so much for the time and best of luck to you. Yes, sir, thank you.